How are we doing today, guys? So today I have a really nice figure here to get open for you. This one is from Star Wars, The Phantom Menace, Aura Singh. Uh, you know she's very prominent in the Clone Wars cartoons, but in The Phantom Menace, she only has, like, not even 10 seconds worth of screen time. But she is definitely in the movie, just like Quinlan Voss. Uh, so, yeah, there's her, her scene there where she's standing in the movie. Uh, a little bit of background on the stories of Star Wars. And then here are some of the other characters that come out at the same time. Uh, I have caught a little bit of flack on this because uh, this here is an unpunched uh, sample. But the card does have a little bit of warpage to it, a little bit of uh, scratches on the face of it. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and get her off the card and kind of rescue her. Such an awful looking card, shall we? So we can go ahead and... and play with Oris, Oris Singh and now she's officially cut the unpunched status doesn't matter and I'm probably gonna have so many collectors mad at me that I just did this but it's my toy not theirs I paid the money kinda technically it was a Christmas present but even better right Then let's go ahead and get her out of that bubble. And look at some of these awesome accessories that she comes with. She rubber banded in. She is rubber banded in. Let's see if we can't go ahead and fight that and get that cut. Get that off of her. Let's go ahead and get the rest of her accessories out. There's that. One of the sabers fell out already. Pre-lost warning. Get her rifle out. Let's go ahead and get her blasters out of there. There's her blasters. And we'll just go ahead and throw that away. So let's go ahead and real quick get this plastic off this Star Wars case. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. I'll explain that when we get to it. But here is the Aura Singh. Go ahead and see if we can't get her blasters in her holsters. I do like how she comes with holsters for her blasters. A sling for the rifle. So she can kind of technically carry all of her guns. So she does have just a ball jointed neck. Has some pretty decent shoulder articulation as well as elbow articulation. She just has pivots on the wrists, which I don't know if she really needs rockers, just because of the size of her hands and everything. You don't put rockers in there. Like I've said in other videos, you lose just some of that, that grip on there. She doesn't have any... Oh, no, but she has a um, mid-chest swivel, of all things. Actually, more like a higher chest swivel. But no, no ball joint or anything like that. And then just a standard T-crotch. Really good knee articulation. No ankle articulation at all, but this isn't a figure that you'll probably be doing very much, you know, posing in ninja style combat or anything. No Jedi style combat. And then she does come with her rifle. Oh, maybe I'll get the rifle in her hand. There we go. Now that just looks pretty awesome, I must say. I do like some of the detail on her, so take a look at the, the canisters on her back there. And then just some of the, the paint app in her hair, I think, looks really good. The chains all over her holsters. That's just a really well-sculpted figure, I feel. And then the lightsabers fit in her case. I don't recall them ever really explaining the lightsabers in the cartoon. Um, I could have missed it. And those three look like just... Not necessarily generic lightsabers. There's definitely an Obi-Wan and a Darth Vader hilt in there. But the thing that I'm kind of disappointed about with this case is it has the bend hinge there. So eventually, too much pressure on that. If you keep it folded up for too long or if you do a lot of opening and closing of the case, that's actually going to break and then you'll have two separate pieces. I've seen it a lot in G.I. Joe accessories. Um, I was really kind of hoping for a hinged case on that, but, you know, it's, it does have a little bit of age to it, so not going to have a hinged case. 
And then I don't know how in the good heavens she's supposed to carry this because she has those long gangly fingers. But there is the focus on the wrong part. The Aura Singh Vintage Collection. What was her number? Her number was 73, VC 73. And she is just an absolutely amazing looking figure. I'm super happy to throw her up with my bounty hunters. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.